So this is a case report of a 29-year-old woman who presented with a stage 4 triple negative breast cancer. At diagnosis, she unfortunately had a very large uh, primary mass in her left breast and multiple lymph nodes and liver metastases as well. So she was considered incurable at her diagnosis. She actually sought out a, a centre in Turkey that has an interest in metabolically supported cancer uh, treatment and she underwent their protocol which involved a modified chemo regimen, which you can see there, uh, with a 12 hour fast prior to each, each dose and she also got 5 to 10 units of insulin prior, uh, prior to her chemo uh, with the aim of getting her blood sugar between 2.8 and 3.3. She was commenced on a ketogenic diet immediately and on treatment day she also received hypothermia up to 45 degrees and hyperbaric oxygen. So this protocol lasted four months and at the six month mark they did some repeat um, imaging and you can see the response. So on the left the PET scan shows the widespread disease in her left breast and auxiliary nodes and in the liver and on the right she's got a complete response. So the only trace you can see there is in her kidneys which is completely normal. So a reasonable criticism at this stage from an oncologist might be, well, that's fine, the scan doesn't show up any cancer, but there may still be some microscopic disease, and she, this, this lady's going to have a recurrence later because of that. So the team went to the surgical team and said, look, can you operate now? Because she was considered uh, surgically inoperable initially. And they actually agreed to do a mastectomy and auxiliary lymph node clearance on her. And um, quite astoundingly, she's got a complete pathological response on histology. So the picture on the left there shows you where the, the tumour was in her breast, so just scar tissue, no active disease. And on the right there is one of her uh, lymph nodes, which again similarly shows no active disease. There have been some small human trials demonstrating the feasibility and safety of a ketogenic diet in cancer patients with, without any significant side effects and potentially improved outcomes. Um, and there more, are some more trials coming, but in, the interest in this space remains relatively small compared to the amount of research being done with conventional therapeutics like cancer and, and radiotherapy.